Hello, I'm Derek Keats, and I want to talk a little bit today about the role of the Creative Commons License Chooser in creating what I call the mess in open educational resources globally. Now, I've long been a I've long been a critic of the use of the non-commercial restriction on so-called open educational resources. And if you followed my blog or followed my posts on Twitter recently, you will know that the NC restriction is a real bee in my bonnet. Most people choose it for entirely the wrong reason. The executive director for MIT OpenCourseWare, for example, once told me that MIT professors are not smart enough to understand licenses without this restriction. Therefore, they must have the non-commercial restriction because they're not terribly smart professors, wouldn't otherwise make their uh, content available as open courseware. Uh, I don't believe that, but that's the explanation. Uh, most people choose it because of the why should anyone be able to use my, as in me, I, me, mine content and make money from it. But the, in, the, but the non-commercial restriction is totally not necessary to prevent the kind of wanton prostitution of their work and life-changing content that most people seem to imagine. The share-alike clause on top of the attribution license does that well enough. One of the problems must surely be the Creative Commons license chooser itself. It says entirely the wrong thing and kind of implies that the only way to prevent this wanton sale of your awesome work is to tick the no where it says allow commercial uses of your work. I wonder what the results would be if instead of saying allow commercial uses of your work, this item said prevent this item from being shared freely and remixed freely. Or what if it said prevent commercial entities from building on and improving the quality of my content? Or what if it said, disallow all elements of my content from being used to build freely usable educational resources for use in the developing country? The fact is that choosing the non-commercial restriction is in fact an act of conceit. You think your content is so good, people will just sell it and if you use the, that's if you use the bias A license. And my goodness, nobody would ever want to improve on it because your quality is so damn good. It's also an act of selfishness. You prevent your content from being mixed with the work of people who believe in freedom. In some, perhaps in most cases, it's an act of ignorance. But either way, we need to spread the word about this program, about this problem and try to convince people to use this restriction only when it is genuinely necessary. And maybe Creative Commons needs to th rethink the wording of this item on the license chooser. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. I'm Derek Keats. You can reach me at the addresses shown on this uh, screen here.